Young Jock is part of the new season of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. There's a musical twist. We're getting some, also some drama as well, too. Thank you so much for your time today. Oh, thank you for your time as well. I appreciate it. Yeah, let's talk a little bit uh, about the new season. Um, people want to know, you know, relationship-wise, community-wise, your radio show-wise. Like, tell us what we're going to see as far as your, your part. Well, in this season, it is revealed that I am a grandfather now. Um, and I'm not giving anything away because that's in the trailer. Let me just put that out there. <laughs> um, and there are some some things that I've been dealing with in my relationship that, you know, Someone coming from an old school approach may agree with me when someone else who may be a little more progressive may not agree with me. And um, these are some of my truths that I have to reveal and I have to stand on them. <clears throat> but at the same time, um, when you're talking of love, you know, love is like a seesaw. It's a two-way street. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a give and take. So sometimes you have to step down of what you may be standing on or sometimes you have to stand on what you never tried to stand on. You may have to step up to something. Yeah. And I'm going to say that in the, in, the, in the coolest little way to hint that there's a little unbalance here. We're a little unbalanced in some situations. But it's going to be so, so fun. It's, I think this is going to be a great season. Like, and I'm not just saying it because I'm on it and we're promoting right now. I'm really telling <laughs> you, like, I'm excited. I'm like, hey, man, I can't wait to see this because I have walked into some scenes, Rudy, listen to yes. me. I have walked into some scenes and be like, oh my God, what in the hell is going on, man? And I'm looking at producers and they like, don't look at me. And I'm like, is this really happening? So I've been on this, as you may know, I've been on this franchise for quite some time now. Yeah. And one would think nothing surprises me anymore. Yo, I've been blown away so many different times filming this season. And I'm 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 trying to prepare myself for what's to come next week. Yeah, I mean, I got to see the, the very first episode of the new season. I mean, there is a lot to unpack and a lot to unravel, and it's just going to, I feel, get bigger and bigger from this very first episode. It's not really a, a spoiler, but in the very first episode, um, you're getting out the vote, you're out in the community, you're getting people registered. I mean, talk a little bit about that importance. You know, we had a big, big election coming up and just getting your listeners, your followers, your fans, just to know the importance of having their voice uh, being heard. Well, a lot of times what I've come to realize is... Um, in my culture, and, and, and when it comes to the urban side of things, a lot of times um, people are granted a voice. God affords them this voice and this ability to influence and lead. And sometimes people may put the right perspectives on the back burner. They don't make them a priority. And I think that in this particular situation, as you may have seen me speaking with Rallo, uh, He's a guy who just come home from yeah. federal prison. Um, you know, he's a leader in his community. He's a leader. He's a leader of the community, and I'm witnessing him galvanize his troops in the, in, in his community. I'm witnessing him uh, get his people on board to make sure that they are exercising their right to vote. They are exercising the the the, the use of their voice, and to see him advocate you know, for this type of movement in, in, his, in his neighborhood. I mean, it's one of the most impressive things I've seen in quite some time, especially in the hood. And it's very important that you know the people that are in these seats who, who, who hold these positions who can change everything yeah. when it comes to your community and your day-to-day -day living. So I think it's a, it's a very important thing. And I'm, I'm glad that I'm actually able to be a part of that. And talk a little bit about you. You just mentioned Rallo as far as like his return and, you know, being a part of the community and, and working with him. And what does that mean for you? I think this is going to be crazy when the world gets to see this. I really, I'm really proud of the producers and the higher ups to say green light Rallo on this show, because I know it's going to give people a different perspective of the show in itself. Just to see that it's going to be like, oh, that's what's up, you know? Oh, exactly, because we're going to see that perspective. We're also possibly going to get some new music from the whole and, and the entire cast. We're going to see how, how that's going to play out. But, and I see you, yeah. Rudy, Rudy, it's going to be, oh my God, Rudy. Uh, no, what, we're, I, I get mad when they put me in these situations. I'll be wanting to no. spill the beans and I can't yeah. say nothing, man. No, no we, we want to we, we want to watch, we want to wait. You know, we want to see that, you know, progress and see how that all turns out. And the final thing here really quickly, 
as far as all the things you have going on in your life, but also seeing everybody else in the cast, like how do you do that balance of being supportive to everybody else, but also trying to like keep in your own lane as far as managing all the projects that you have going on? One is one thing. I realize that we all have an expiration date. And because I don't know mine, I'm trying to do as much as I can before it arrives. I don't want to be surprised. When it comes, I like to go out and say, hey, I did everything I could. I tried to do this. I tried to be the best at being a, the best father, the best husband, the best uh, talent on reality TV, the best radio personality on morning radio, the best actor or leading actor in uh, or support leading or supporting actor in a movie. I just want to be the best person, a human being I could possibly be. And with that notion said, man, whenever challenges come my way, I'm already prepared because I know they're, they're, they're coming. I know that challenges are prevalent in day-to-day -day life and I'm ready to face them head on. So the balancing act for me is second nature. It's like, hey, it's here. Oh, I got to do this, but I only have time to do that. Okay, we'll figure it out. Let's go. And that's how life has been working for me, man. I ain't going to lie to you, Rudy. I'm just... I'm just a happy guy, man. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Young Doc, of course, part of Love & Hip Hop Atlanta, the new season starting July 23rd on MTV. Chicago, I love you!